One more important point, the president says nursing home employees must get vaccinated or risk getting uh, a loss of their federal funding. So a lot of ground the president covered just within the last 20 minutes. We want to talk more about the booster shot as a lot of people have been talking about that, writing questions into the newsroom. The president says this is something they've been working on for a few months now, both with the FDA and the CDC. Yeah, there's been a lot of back and forth over this issue, but we now know that all Americans who received either the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine vaccines are eligible for that third shot eight months after the second dose again. So we know a lot of you have a lot of questions. Tracy A. McPeer set out to get you answers. We have speculated that a booster might be necessary and there have been it's been gone back and forth. But that speculation was put to rest Wednesday when top U.S. health officials announced a third COVID-19 vaccine shot would be recommended for all eligible Americans eight months after receiving their last one. And they plan to start offering those booster shots September 20th. So who is considered eligible right away? Dr. Sujatha Reddy says the first boosters will go to the people who were part of the first access groups. We are elderly people in long-term care facilities and health care providers. Because if you recall, we got ours in December and January, so we're at that eight-month mark right now. So why do people need a third shot in the first place? Georgia Tech professor M.G. Finn says that's when data shows vaccine immunity starts to drop. It gives you another wake-up call immune system Time to make more. Another common question, can you mix brands? So if you got Pfizer before, can you get Moderna now? Both Dr. Reddy and Dr. Finn say no. It's best to stick to the brand that you got. So if you got two Moderna, get a third Moderna. If you got two Pfizer, get a third Pfizer. Get the vaccine, the booster that they got originally only because the testing has been done for safety in that mode. And finally, will these shots ever end? The experts say probably not. It may turn out that we may get a booster shot every year for a while. We need to learn to live with it, and I think that's the best way to look at it. We reached out to DPH in Georgia, and they say the boosters will be available at many of the same places, like pharmacies, and will be free for the foreseeable future. Coming up at 6, I'll tell you what the people who got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine need to know.